Hi, Brian. Matt here from Willow Creek Golf Academy. We'd just like to review today's session, go over the visuals, remind us of the drills and the exercises. Today, a bit more of a technical lesson, discussing what makes the ball do what it does. Ultimately, it's two things based on a centered hit. Club face at impact dictates where the ball starts, and the path will dictate the curve. What we can see today, on the way down, you can see that club and the hands working over that shaft line. Technical terms for this, as you may have heard, over the top or outside in. On TrackMan, we quantify that by numbers. Obviously, today you were a minus path number when you're coming over that line. What we're looking for in an ideal world is to get you more from the inside and more of a positive number on TrackMan. Now, obviously, without cameras or TrackMan, this can be a really tough area to work on. So, my suggestion would be get yourself some alignment sticks. Put one on the ground approximately a 35 degree angle, slide a swim noodle over the top of it, and just tee the ball up direct underneath that noodle. Another one parallel to that, this is for your body alignment, which will include your feet, hips, and shoulders. And then lastly, depending on what club you're going to use, one to confirm your ball position. And simply from here, what I want to do is make a swing and miss the noodle. And in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to keep that club underneath that shaft line. All this does now is confirm that your path is from the inside or a more positive number on TrackMan. Now once you have your path confirmed, you only have one thing left to control, which is obviously your club face. So I'm going to give you some scenarios now on some different club faces at impact based on the same path. So if we say just hypothetical number, anytime you set up your practice station and you miss that noodle, let's say for argument's sake your path is 4 degrees from the inside, a positive path number of 4 degrees. That's going to stay the same every single time you make a swing and you miss that noodle. So if you had a straight club face at impact, that number would be zero and it's a good strike. Your ball would start straight because that's where your face is aiming at impact. But now with that positive four path, your ball would curve to the left side of the green or the left side of the fairway. If you come in with a closed left or a negative face at impact, the green line, your ball is going to start left because obviously that's where your face is at impact. Now the gap between the face and the path has increased, so now your ball is going to start left and go even further left. Why I like the math numbers, it takes opinion off the table. Based on a center hit, if you have a 4 degree positive path, we need that 2 to 1 ratio. So basically half of 4 is 2. If you showed me a 2 degree open face and a 4 degree positive path, your ball would start right of target and draw perfectly back onto your target line like you were at the end of the session. Whenever the face and the path numbers are the same, there's no curve to the ball, providing it's a good strike. So this situation right now, if the red line is your 4 degree path, the black line is a 4 degree open face, your ball's going to start right and just stay there. It's a block. The ball's not going to move. And then finally, anytime your face is a higher number than 4 degrees in this situation, let's say that blue line's a 10 degree open face, your ball will start right and go further right, fade or slice. So obviously a lot of information. If you do have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to call me. My direct line is 603-489-0267.